Welcome back to the Cutthroat Journey. Feel the passion. Let's get going. On this video, I use a 1960 Gillette flare tip. Let's see how the shave goes. Hi guys and welcome back. So today is October 11th, uh, Monday, and I'm going to be doing a DE shave. So I have a flare tip. This is 1960. Uh, very beautiful. You see it right there. This back in the day was like the pinnacle razor back, you know, back in that time. Um, there was actually, there was a blue tip. There was a, this right here. And then there was a red tip. And then there was also a black tip. And then, I mean, but the red tip was the most aggressive. This was kind of like the middle of the range. And then the blue tip was the, um, was a mild version. So I'll show you my brush. It's a very special brush. And let me get the, um, let me actually get the blade and the razor. I wanted to show you that. So if any of you new guys out there, if you're in cartridge razors, you know, you may be converting to wet shaving. This is a DE and you just twist it like that. It just opens up like that, the doors. And then I'm actually gonna use, let me show you the blade. Super Iridium. So you put the blade, put the blade in like this. And it has a good uh, even blade exposure on each, both sides. So you just you just clamp it down. Make sure the clamp is down. I always check to see if the exposure is good and the gap is good, and, and it is. So that's all set. Super Iridium, first use. And let me get my face pre-shaved up here and go from there. Yeah, guys, so... My predictions yesterday on the football games were pretty close, but um, on the score. So the Browns, they lost 47-42 to the Chargers. And I said the Browns would win 32-29. I mean, I said it would be a high-flying game, like a highly dynamic uh, offensive uh, attack. And it pretty much was. Both quarterbacks were going, were onslaughted. And I said the Chiefs would lose to the Bills. 38-35. Well, the Bills, no, 39-35. The Bills beat the Chiefs last night, 38-20. So, yeah, the Chiefs aren't looking too good this year. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if it's the homes and Hollywood getting in the way now at this point, but he's kind of looking like an average quarterback. And all these younger quarterbacks like Herbert and, and uh, um, Allen are looking like really good or looking very dynamic and top of the league. So here is my brush. It's an autism brush, autism awareness brush. And it was by Mozingo Brushworks. I got this over uh, two years ago and I won it at an auction. I think I paid around $750 for it. So it went to good, you know, good use and all. And the person that turned that turned uh, that did the resin was uh, Carrie Champion. I like that's her first name. So she's done resin uh, pours for me in the past. And um, Mozingo Brett Brett Mozingo on Mozingo Brushworks turned the handle. So he has a website. So here's the. Right there. That's all I need. I'm using Mike's Peppermint Rosemary. Very nice scent. I used it uh, yesterday during my uh, shave at shave. And I'm going to be doing just a, just a one pass shave, guys. That's all I usually do with the DE. I can get a pretty good clean up with that. Oops. So there's there's the soap. I have it in a sterling uh, container. Just got my face wet there. I took some of the pre-shave off. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. And this brush has a, a B5 declaration knot. One of their best knots. Handles large, ergonomic. I'm 
Mike's is super slick. No go wrong with Mike's. I did a head shave last night, guys. I'm not liking head shaves. Just testing it out again. My, uh, my hair is just like it really like pesky up here. I mean, it's thicker and kind of irritating to shave. I'm going to just take a no guard and do it in my head. Maybe 10 years from now, when my hair starts thinning even more, I'll, I'll do heavy head shaves. But right now, you know what? It's kind of pesky. My goal is to bring a little a variety here to the cutthroat journey. Uh, with like the other double edge shaves and single edge and cutthroats. I mean, pretty much everything, you guys. Just mixing it up. Show off my collection because I have a collection of DE straight razors. And only, well, only my company's single edge, the general. I don't have any other ones. Okay, I think that should be good. Okay. Nice, nice brush. You see that there. The knot is excellent. So the super speed is a very nice shaver. Very smooth, is efficient. I have a day of growth. Um, very minimal blade feel. There we go. Just got it wet underneath under water here. And just do a one pass here. Oh yeah. Very efficient, very smooth. Yeah, very nice shave. Haven't used a DE in, well, in months. So, we got some very special news coming up, guys, with my uh, business, Colonial Razors. Prototype coming in. So, I want you guys to stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see the shave videos um, with this new prototype and all new business updates. So, subscribe here and you'll get some uh, news feed. Lovely razor. I have three uh, flare tips. I have a 1960, I believe 
1964 and a 1953. I have to go look at it. And I have some like the super speeds, the original ones. This is a flare tip. So yeah, we have a prototype coming in. I'm not gonna say what you know what this, what it is or what the specs are. You'll see it on the shave video. Hopefully here in the next you know two weeks maybe. We'll have to see because I know it's it's still be it's still in in transit. But I think the community will like it. Better price point. The shave will be excellent. Uh like other colonial razors, and uh, it definitely won't be disappointing. And the design is very elegant. Yeah, we'll do with the DE. You can't get underneath the nose as easy as easily as we would with a straight razor. I love Super Iridium blades. They're usually my go-to when I'm testing out a new razor. Um. Yeah, or uh, Wilkinson Sword uh, DE Blades from India. Touch them. I think, yeah. Good to go. See you guys. No nonsense shave. Clean. You know, it's close. Yep. Can't go wrong with it. Let's rinse my face off here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. Now I have to go to the grocery store if that sounds that amusing, you guys. Some odds and ends, and I have off this week. I said I have a uh, AK, and it looks like I'm at 14 minutes of the DE shave. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I appreciate you stopping by for another episode. Like, subscribe, and share. Get the word out about the channel. Stay tuned for uh, a prototype shave here soon from uh, my business, Colonial Razors. So if you have a new one coming in. And uh, get the word out about uh, Colonial Razors, you know, share, feel free to share uh, any business updates. So appreciate it. See you next episode. I appreciate all the support. See you next episode.